hello Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. I'm going to take a look at your situation with you and your person in mind. Remember that this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate for everyone. You can always take a look at your other placements. You may find some messages there for you. And if you're interested in a personal reading, much like this, I will leave all of that information in the description box below for you guys. Okay, so I'm seeing that there's someone that likes you, Scorpio. There's someone that likes you, but they haven't been showing their true feelings. They've been hiding it from you. Interesting. So, somebody's been wanting to date you here. Wanting to be with you since before. In the past, somebody's been wanting to date you and has had secret feelings for you, Scorpio. But there's someone that has been upsetting you. A, someone, a loved one. That's been bothering you, causing you pain, hurt, sadness, um, separation. We have a breakup, feeling lost, grieving, and mourning. So, whoa, that card just flipped out. So, five of cups in your um, past here. There has been a loss. Um, the cups have been spilled over. And I see that um, things have changed. Things have changed here. Uh, we have two fives, so 55. Somebody's been healing. Somebody's been trying to heal from a loss. Healing um, and wanting to, wanting to find more stability. So I see that this has been a struggle before. It's been a struggle. It's Somebody felt abandoned. Um, left in the cold, left out, left alone, feeling alone. And I do see that there's been healing here with the star card. Major, major healing that has come in here in order to try to renew oneself and to bring back stability. But I see that, I'm seeing that there's something that is coming out of this here. Some type of growth. Um... I see that your person, they have been feeling regrets, deep regrets here. You, they think about you all the time. But they're very silent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're showing up like emotionally unavailable they're showing up as detached and I see that this is like a persona that they're putting up here that they're trying to like trick you with making it seem like they don't care they're acting like they don't care um, but the reality is is that they want a new beginning with you. They want to have another chance here. And they want to take a risk. They're thinking about taking a risk here towards a new start. Because I do see that um, they're acting like this ending hasn't affected them. They're acting like they don't care um, if you're in their life or not. Which is just um, not how they actually are feeling but this is how they're showing up here very queen of swords like they could do well without you but they're going through a, a, an awakening right now they're going they're receiving clarity in terms of a situation and you are what consumes their thoughts so acting like they don't care but you're all that they think about we have 
in your energy, the heartbroken. So I see that you are right now taking a break. You're healing yourself. Have you taken a break yet for some of you? It's time to take a break. It's time to um, bring back your energy to yourself. Self-care, self-love. And I see right now that it's it's time to take that time out here. It's time to, to rest. Because you've been you've been doing a lot. You have been carrying ten wands on your shoulder and you haven't gotten any help. You've been doing a lot, you've been burdened, you've been um straining yourself, stressing yourself, stre even stressing your body, and it's time to take a rest. It's time to take that break here. And I see that for some of you, you're planning to um, look and see what else is out there for you in terms of new possibilities here, maybe with a Leo, Aries, or a Sagittarius sign. I'm also seeing um, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius here. So... I am getting that you're at a point right now where you have made a decision to let go of what's been stressing you out because I see that you've been in the past, you've been putting in a lot of effort, a lot of work into this situation with your person, but you've been the one that has been doing everything and it has to be a hundred, a hundred each person, not just a hundred and they do 50 or zero you know what I mean so you're at a point right now where you need to take that time for yourself and I see you doing that so we have the boat here receiving what you need progression arriving moving on and closure of issues here so let's take a look and see what this is about here the whoa <laughs> okay that was unexpected. Wow, guys. This is great. This is a huge change. You're not, you weren't expecting it. I wasn't even expecting that, obviously, by my reaction. But this is a relationship. I see in the next few weeks here the lovers. So I get, there's a decision that's being made to be in a relationship here. And you didn't see this coming. The tower card none of you saw this coming i didn't even see this coming because for one you're right now you're healing you're taking a break your person they're acting like they don't care but what a drastic change so it looks like to me that it looks like we have some sort of progression here we're closing these issues making a decision to leave the past behind and putting in some more effort. So somebody is wanting to put in some more effort here and wanting to try to find balance and have a relationship at the same time. So this is good news for you guys. It's making you very, very happy. You and your person are going to be very, very happy about this. The lovers and the sun card. So a lot of love. This is turning into love here. And I see that you're receiving what you needed. You're getting the decision or the answer that you've been wanting or that you've been needing here. And I see that you weren't even expecting this. You didn't see this coming. I didn't even see this coming. But it, it looks like you're going to be very happy and pleased about it. Okay. So there's that spark that's reigniting. It's a new beginning for you guys. I see that there's a spark that is growing here. But I see that we have a runner. Runner in a codependent relationship. Fears of intimacy and listening to the ego. So, okay. All right. So what I'm seeing here is that there's a new beginning for you in your outcome and I see that somebody has been listening to somebody has been having a hard time before listening to their fears 
um, fears of intimacy, fears of getting too close, listening to the ego um, side. And I see that there's a new perspective. Somebody has gained some new perspective, a new clarity. There's this light bulb moment. So I see that there's a new transformation. Uh, something, someone is now starting to take action here. Taking action to, to have a new, to do things differently, to have a new approach to things. And I see that this is after uh, letting go of a situation like we are doing right now here but there's a lot of clarity that's coming into this because there has been some overthinking overthinking sleepless nights but there is a very strong chemistry between you and your person to the point where it scares either you or them so I'm gonna get some details here Yeah, I hear this is not the end. This is not the end. I'm also seeing Gemini energy, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. I'm not seeing any Earth sign, not any strong Earth sign energy, but the signs don't really matter, guys. So let's get some more details here. For Scorpio. Okay, this person has been acting distance, or maybe they're literally at a distant distance from you, long distance, but they act like they don't care. Um, emotionally distant. I see that in the past we have something about a family some importance on family here you could have met each other's family or someone's family has some type of say because we have the triangle here so I do feel like there is some t sort of third party interference that has to do with a family member I do see that either you or your person could be into beauty hair nails makeup fashion um, even dancing somebody could be a dancer but I see that um, we have the ice queen this can indicate an older woman and also regaining wisdom somebody's getting a new perspective learning some type of lesson this could happen in the winter time here in the winter seasons is what I'm seeing and I see that right now you are at a point where you're you're having to make a decision as well as your person you both are coming together to make a choice to be together is what i see and i get that you're both not expecting this at all you could be doing a lot of meditations right now receiving clarity guidance and healing through meditation or even reiki i'm hearing reiki so i'm gonna get a few more cards for you guys before I close off this reading. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I see that in the past we have unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So I do see that there was feelings, but one person cared more about the other person. Um, so it just wasn't equal, but your person, they have true love for you. This is the romance of a lifetime, but they're acting like they don't care. Um, we have a new beginning in love for you. A new person has stirred romantic feelings here. So I do see that there is a commitment coming in. We have wedding. The situation involves marriage and it has to do with a past life relationship. You have known each other before. So things, um, feels very familiar here. So... I see that there's a decision that you ha you're going to have to make here between this person and possibly between a new person or just a new beginning with this person in general. But I see that there is a relationship here. There's a commitment that somebody is making that's going to progress. 
So this is what I'm getting for you. If you like this reading, please comment, like, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell so you can be updated for future videos. Let me know if it resonated. And I hope that you found some guidance or clarity in your situation. And thank you for watching. Bye.